the hip hop political convention and every hip hop political movement from Pacifica Radio, the entire network to Democracy Now, I tell people complete letdown. All of a sudden, you're going to be voting. You're a Puerto Rican nationalist. You've never voted in your life. So now you're going to vote, but you're going to vote for a Democrat. And what ended? And the same with black nationalists here. Like me and Cynthia got no love in Harlem. There were people in organizations that I've been part of that didn't even go, oh good, I'm still not going to vote for you, but you and Cynthia are doing a good job. And that is the personal little bitterness, but the bigger issue is the issues that me and Cynthia were talking about, no one else was talking about. When me and Cynthia accepted that nomination, my whole speech, my nomination speech, is about political prisoners. When has there ever been a VP nomination speech where I named Jalil Mutiken, Jeruba Ben Waha, Matula Shakur, literally named names? That's not because I'm special. That's because everything politically from Malcolm X grassroots movement to Richie Perez to the Young Lords, everything that I was birthed, I was able at that moment to be a vessel and a voice. And I, look, no one had an illusion we're going to win. It's the Green Party. We weren't even on every ballot. We raised a total of $244,000. You understand? Compared to $750 million that Barack Obama raised. But what was surprising, which speaks to, and I'll end this, which speaks to why I think hip hop politically is dead, is that people shut us down from the conversation. So it wasn't even about, you know, there were places that we should have been the main people speaking. Okay, if we weren't, then at least don't shut our voices down. Mm -hmm. Don't take us down off a blog. You know, like, how are you going to interview Ralph Nader 50 times, Amy Goodman, and interview Cynthia McKinney one time? Are you seriously? And that, what that, and that, what that means for me is that it made me realize that unfortunately we have replaced true tactics of revolutionary struggle, of grassroots organizing, with thinking that voting actually solves everything, even though we know better. And, and lastly, that we have an entire generation of young people that spend more than 50% of their time online, and they think sending out an email is an organizing tactic. Sending out an email is a marketing tactic. Mm -hmm. Blasting something out is critically important. But what does that mean when you have an entire generation that does not even know how to have a five minute conversation face to face with somebody talking about those issues outside of those dated terms? So 